Hey guys, we just got out to the greenhouse and today is a busy day. The big order for the week needs to be harvested and then delivered to the CSA hub. I'm gonna do an update on the desktop NFT system too. Uh, I need to do a nutrient tank change, so we'll do that once we're done here. How's it going? Not too bad. You're getting a good good dent done. Yeah, I got this um, rest of this section. I already did the section in the back already. Did that this morning when I first came out with the lights on, so. So this week we're harvesting the endive and she's been working on it since early this morning, but it's been fun watching it grow and doing the updates. It's been growing for about a total of 10 weeks and it would grow a little bit faster in the summertime, but it did make a nice big head, so it's ready to go. In all, this order is gonna have 750 heads, so 25 boxes and then 30 heads in a box. Okay, so everybody probably noticed I have a bin here with bags in it. What I do is because I'm putting 30 heads in a box is I count my bags out ahead of time because I tried it the other way. You know, you count your heads as you put them in and I get sidetracked listening to the radio or whatever and I have to recount them again. This goes a lot easier so I just know as soon as my bags are done, my box is full. You can see there's a few yellow leaves on the bottom here. That's yeah, the winter time. So these roots are a lot tougher than lettuce roots. They're a lot harder to pull out of the channels. Oh yeah. yeah. The roots are really long. I mean, this is only part of the root. And what happens is these roots grow out of the, the NFT channels here into the return line. And when I pull the NFT out, the roots break off and they end up in my nutrient tank. So I've been down there checking out my nutrient tank because it likes to clog up the uh, intake valve. So do you want me to start my own section or do you want to do assembly line? Oh, let's do assembly line. I think that might go a little bit faster so I can harvest and then you can bag them up. Okay. what we don't want going into the nutrient tank. Okay, we're getting hungry, so I'm gonna go in and taste test this. We're gonna try an endive apple salad. Throw a few craisins in here. And a bit of feta. I think I'm gonna try it with a little bit of vinaigrette. It's definitely a bit bitter, but it's nice. It's got a good crunch too. This is what the channels look like after harvesting and you'll see there's the roots in there still and then some old leaves. So that's gonna be tomorrow's job, just getting those all cleaned out. And like we've said too, um, mom doesn't like to wait a long time because if you let it dry on there, it's so much harder to clean. So just a few more boxes? Yep. Okay. Then we'll get the van loaded up and dad's always the delivery driver. Yeah. 
before we head out, I've gotten some questions about um, composting and the waste generated from the greenhouse. And behind me, um, mom calls that the tank, but you'll see inside that there's some old roots and some old like basil plants and stuff. And once this is full, she'll drive this over to the compost pile. Here's the pile we have going right now. And um, she does throw even the growing medium and stuff like that, like the biostrate from the microgreens into the piles because they do break down and then it makes really nice um, fertilizer for the garden. A deer walked through it. All right, it's definitely growing, but um, the, some of the leaves are cupping, so I might try to adjust the humidity a little bit to see if that can kind of help. But I'm also a day overdue for changing the nutrients, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I found the easiest thing to do is to just go ahead and unplug the whole pump and have an old bucket handy, which I have down here. And then I just take out the emitters and lift off the top and keep the channels and everything on there. And then set this aside. The pump unit is just on there with some suction cups. So I just take this off too and set it aside. Then you can just dump the tank. You can water plants with the old newts, but I've been just dumping it on the garden. We got some winter rye planted on here for our cover crop, and I'm always excited for the springtime. As much as I like hydroponics, I still really enjoy soil gardening too. I'm also gonna rinse out the tank and then wipe it down just to keep everything clean. Fresh newts ready. It's my RO water and then the hypogrow and the calcium nitrate. Dump the new ones in. Put the pump back in. And then put the channels back on. emitters in. And plug it back in. I like to let it run for a second and then pull the emitters out to make sure water's going through. Yep. Yep. So that's it. It's easy. So tonight we finally finished online school and got the boys to bed. So now I want to reply to some comments and I have a few channels I want to catch up on. And then a YouTube friend recommended a um, documentary on vertical farming. So I'm going to watch that tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Thanks for watching.